Hi guys, Steph here again and welcome to my channel. So para sa mga nakakita na sa channel ko or nakapanood na ng mga videos ko, you know exactly that I discuss things here related to personal finance, self-development, and work from home opportunities or mga online job topics. But for now guys, I want to discuss a special thing kasi it's our wedding anniversary today. Sa day na napanood niyo tong video to, it's really our anniversary. So, our wedding anniversary is July 11, 2020. 20? July 11 yung date ng anniversary namin. So, it's July 11, 2021, the day na napanood niyo to. So, it's our wedding anniversary. So now, I plan to discuss things like ano yung preparation na ginawa namin for our intimate church wedding and paano namin nagawang mag-spend lamang ng 40,000 para sa kasal na yon. Okay? So if you're interested, then check this video out. So our topic for today is about wedding. But of course, since this channel is about personal finance, let's give it a touch of finance. Okay? So, ay, paano namin siya nagawang 40,000 lang yung budget namin for the wedding? Actually, hindi siya budget. Actually, yung budget is 50,000 talaga. Pero nagawa namin 40,000 yung cost ng wedding. Okay? So, if you are interested, so please continue to watch the video until the end. But if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like this video, and share this to your friends. So guys, just to give you a brief background, parang one month la, one month and two weeks lang yung preparation namin for the wedding. So we planned it mga around sa birthday ko, May 27. And then June, mga June last year, yun, ginawa na namin lahat para ma-process yung mga dapat, yung mga requirements. And then we scheduled the wedding July 11, 2020. So that's it. And we just planned to have a... Of course, pandemic. But even if walang pandemic, it is my personal preference to make it simple. Okay? I don't want a grand wedding. I just want to keep it simple because kasama sa grand wedding yung, of course, grand yung cost. Okay? And I don't want to spend too much on the wedding day because sa akin lang to ha, Because what I wanted to prepare for is yung cost after the wedding day. Because I really know, I am aware... <laughs> Because marami nang na naikasal sa paligid ko, sa friends ko, sa environment ko. And I am so aware that mas malaki talaga yung cost after the wedding. Lalo na if starting pa lang. How much more if, if merong baby? Okay? But in our case, wala. Wala namang baby. So, ganun. Gusto ko lang siyang simple na wedding. And it, it really was a simple wedding. Okay? So, let's get started. Pero I am not against naman sa gustong mag-grand wedding ha. Of course, if afford na afford nyo talaga ng bonggang bongga, tapos marami pang extra even after the wedding, then go for grand wedding. So, sabi nga nila, it's a once-in-a-lifetime event. So, do it if marami talaga kayong pera, if kaya talaga, if happiness nyo yan, yan yung preference nyo, then go. What I am against for is... If kailangan nyo pang mangutang para lang magka-grand wedding, I think it's it's not a wise decision. Okay? If kailangan nyo pang mangutang para lang ma-impress yung mga visitors, then I don't think that's great. That's a great start. Kasi pangit if nagsa-start kayo ng marriage nyo na may kasamang utang. Okay? So hirap, mahirap makabangon. Or parang matagal-tagal makabangon. Depende na rin. Pero yun, yun lang yung preference ko din. So yun din yung advice ko. So keep it simple if hindi afford. If afford nyo, go. Splurge for the wedding. Basta, no lang na live within or below your means. So ano ba ang dapat gawin? Ano yung mga processes na ginawa namin bago kami nakasal? So, first step that we did is we went to the parish kung saan gusto namin ikasal, sa church na gusto namin ikasal. And then, humingi kami ng mga requirements, okay, sa church. After that one, tumawag kami sa city hall. Pwede kang tumawag, pwede kang pumunta, pero conveniently, tumawag ka na lang. And then, ask for the different requirements nila for wedding. Okay, so for church, yung requirements nila is... Kailangan mong mag-attend ng seminar. Okay. 
two days na seminar yata yon. And then, kailangan mo ng baptismal certificate. Kasama na din yung birth certificate, of course. And then, later on, after nung yung parang malapit na yata kayo sa... Malapit nyo nang matapos yung mga processes niyo kailangan na ng wedding band. Lalo na if meron ng date ng wedding, kailangan ng wedding band. Wedding band is para siyang yung sinaunang panahon parang para maiwasan yung merong tututol sa kasal. So, kailangan ng wedding band. Para siyang announcement na ito, ito si blah blah blah, ikakasal kay blah blah blah. So, any any mga obligations, so, i-report dun sa admin. Okay? Para mapigilan or hindi matuloy yung kasal. But if wala naman, so, pwedeng mag-continue yung kasal. So, ganun yung wedding band. And then, what else? Yung marriage contract. Yung marriage contract, submit siya. Actually, yung marriage contract is from the city hall. Yun yung output na makukuha nyo after yung processes nyo dun sa city hall. So, ipapasa siya sa church. Kasi yun yung gagamitin after the wedding. Yun, dun, dun kayo magsasign. Okay? Sa marriage contract. And then, of course, listahan ng mga ninong at nina. So, Ninong at Nina, I don't know if this is similar sa lahat ng churches, but it cost 100 per head. So, in our case, we just had two, two persons. So, one pair. So, one Ninong and one Nina. So, we just spent 200 for them. So, ano pa ba? I think that's it. So, all in all, sa church requirements, we just spent 5,200 okay, for our church requirements. And depende na, li- na rin pala sa anong gusto nyong type, anong gusto nyong type, ano yung type na wedding na gusto nyo. Meron kasi silang parang exclusive type and parang merong general type. So yung sa, sa amin is exclusive. So I think all in all sa choir, sa venue, sa church is 4,500 And the other requirements, so total 5,200 sa church requirements. Okay, so let's go to the city hall requirements. So, of course, meron ding seminar dito. Maraming seminar talaga. So, ang tawag sa seminar nila is Popcom. Okay, so you will attend this seminar. I think this is a one-day seminar, but in our case, kasi middle of the pandemic, it was just half-day. Okay, half-day seminar sa amin. But the estimate nyo na lang na one-day siya. And then, kailangan din ng birth certificate, yung cedula, ano pa ba? At saka, ayun, ipaprocess na siya. After nyo makuha yung, after nyo makuha yung popcom seminar na parang certificate, pupunta kayo sa City Hall. Okay, mag a na kayo for marriage. So, ang output ng application nyo for marriage is yung marriage contract. So, yun yung, actually, hindi nyo siya agad makukuha after nyo mag-apply sa City Hall. So, parang mag- mag- wait kayo ng two weeks or something, mga ganyan. So, after two weeks, depende to ha, depende to sa city hall nyo. So, after two weeks, kukunin nyo nyo yung marriage contract and then you submit it to the parish or the church na kung saan gusto kayong ikasal. Okay. So, I think that's it. So, sa city hall requirements namin, I think na gasto nung namin is Ang namin is 1,345. Okay, so all in all, the basic requirements lang naman is yung church at saka yung city hall requirements, di ba? Yun yung kailangan para makasal. So all in all pala, if gusto nyong makasal sa church, hindi nyo talaga kailangan gumastos ng six digits. Because the basic requirement alone, sa case lang namin, is nasa 6,545 something. So that's less than 10,000. So actually, if kung gusto nyo talagang makasal, if kasal talaga yung purpose, less than 10,000, you can do it na. Okay? And spend ka na lang ng additional money if gusto nyo pang kumain-kain. So next naman, i-discuss ko yung mga other preparations, so other ganap. Kasi we decided also na hindi lang yung basic lang, yung church at saka yung city hall requirements yung i-prepare namin. So of course, we also did simple preparations like ano ba yun? Flowers. So sa flowers guys, hindi kami gumastos ng sobra. I think I just spent 3,000 3,500 for flowers. And then wala kaming wala na kaming inutusan na ibang tao. Like kaming dalawa lang yung ng husband ko yung at saka ng mama ko. Kami yung nag kami yung nag-prepare sa church like nag-arrange ng flowers and everything. So, bumili lang ako ng flowers na worth 3,500. 
kasali na doon yung mga foam. <laughs> foam na paglalagyan ng flowers. Okay? Actually, yung budget ko doon 5K, pero pwede lang palang makamura. So, nasa 3K yata yung flowers, tapos budget ko 500 para doon sa mga floral foam. Tapos kami na nag-arrange. So, diba, tipid na tipid siya. And then, ano pa ba? Decor, decor sa reception, guys. So, dito, nakatipid din kami kasi yung tumulong sa amin is yung mga kapatid ko and friends namin. So, actually, I just gave my sister 2,500. Tapos, ito na yung decoration. Okay? Simple lang, pero at least meron, di ba? So, that's for the decoration sa reception. And I would also like to thank our friend. Okay, actually, yung reception namin, yung place talaga ng reception, naka-free na kami doon kasi best friend ng husband ko yung may-ari. So, thank you, Camp Lamy, for sponsoring our reception. So, that's it. And then, sa makeup, guys. Yung makeup ko is, ano lang, 1,500. Kasali na doon yung mama ko. <laughs> So, ganun siya ka-cheap. So, 1.5 lang yung makeup. What else? Attire. Sa attire, guys, sa bridal gown, hindi na ako nagbayad, hindi na ako bumili, hindi na ako nag -rent because yung ginamit kong bridal gown is yung bridal gown ng mga tita ko, like as in, passed on from one generation to another. Rot. <laughs> hindi, para mga 2007 yata yun, na gown ng tita ko, tapos pina-repair-repair lang. Adjust adjustment lang. So yun, hindi ako nakagasto ng bongga sa bridal gown. And then, yung sa husband ko naman, nag-rent lang kami. So I think, um, all in all, 3,000. Kasi 2,000 yata yung full na suit. Suit talaga? Yung full na attire niya. Tapos bumili lang siya ng shoes. Okay, so I think nasa 3,000 yung nagasto namin. And then, wedding ring. Actually guys, ang mura ng wedding ring namin. Nasa 1K. <laughs> 1K yung wedding ring namin. Pero as of now naman, my God, napalitan na namin siya ng maganda-gandang wedding ring talaga. Okay, so ganun. And then, food. So, we just have 35 guests. And I think all in all, parang naka per, ano ba yun? Basta nasa something 275 per head yung bayad doon sa food. So, 35 people. Tapos, nagpalit siyon lang din. And then, cake. Yung cake ko is, I think, nasa 1,700. 1, so, simple cake lang. So, I think, all in all, yung nagasto namin sa food is nasa 18,000 pesos lang sa food alone. 18,000. Ganon. And other miscellaneous expenses lang, guys. Like, jeep, taxis, Ano pa ba? Yung mga ibang gastos-gastos na maliliit. Okay? So, parang nasa 2K. 2K na budget. So, all in all, nasa 38,545 lang yung total cost ng wedding. So, round it up. Nasa 40K lang yung cost ng wedding namin. So, kasi, hindi na rin kami nag-hire ng photographer or videographer. Meron kasi kaming mga friends na, na merong camera. So, Nag-request na lang kami if pwede bang silang mag-take ng pictures, mag-take ng videos. Meron din kasi namang camera yung husband ko. So, pinagamit lang namin. Bumili lang ng tripod. Okay? So, wala. Hindi na talaga kami gumasa sa videographer. And then, ano pa ba? Hindi na kami nagasto sa mga... Wala kasi kami yung bridesmaid. Wala kami maid of honor. Wala kami mga flower girls. Wala. We chose not to have those. Kasi actually, yan yung nagpapalaki ng gasto sa wedding. Okay? It's not actually the wedding requirements, the basic wedding requirements like the church and the civil requirements, the city hall requirements. It's the other, other stuff that makes the wedding costly. Okay? Actually, hindi siya kailangan if hindi talaga afford or hindi niya siya priority. So yun, yun yun yung papamahal eh, yung entourage na mga gastos, bridesmaid, wedding, ano yan? Mga coordinators, mga organizers, mga videographers. So, tinanggal namin siya sa listahan para wala, wala talagang additional expenses. And then, sa MCs, MC during reception, hindi kami kumuha. Yun lang, ano, yun, yun lang tita ko, yung nag-MC sa wedding namin. Tapos, sulit na. Hindi naman kami malungkot. Masaya din naman kami. So, I, ako nga, ang saya ko kasi, <laughs> hindi malaki yung nagastos namin. Bridal car. Wala din kaming bridal car na, na ni rent. Ang ginamit lang is yung sasakyan ng tita ko. So actually, useful talaga if 
resourceful ka and you ask for help that's important okay ask for help kasi you will never know maraming friends talaga ang willing na mag-extend ng help nila tapos mas makaka-save ka talaga okay but then again choose what makes you happy and at the same time what makes you happy even after hindi lang what makes you happy during the wedding so i think yun yun lahat-lahat guys yun yung nagastos namin so 38 500 plus so round it up 40k and yun yung steps na ginawa namin so gusto ko lang i-correct yung misconception na pag church wedding mahal talaga yung wedding actually it's not it's not the basic requirements sa kasali ng papamahal. It's yung mga gusto nating mga pabongga-bongga. Yung parang ang iba gusto kasi baka nahihiya sila sa visitors nila. It's super simple lang. Kasi now guys, na we are one year ng kasal, I can really say, ilimit nyo lang talaga yung gastos nyo sa wedding if hindi sobra-sobra yung pera nyo. Kasi madami talagang gastos sa pagsa-start ng family. Mara, ba, bibili pa kayo ng mga gamit. Even if meron na kayong regalo sa kasal, madami pa rin kailangan sa bahay. Kailangan nyo ng mga upuan, if kailangan nyo ng TV, if ano pa ba, kailangan nyo ng ref. Usually, hindi kasi, wala naman kasi masyadong nagre-regalo ng ref. Usually, yung nare-receive nyo sa kasal is plato, relo, ano pa ba, yung mga baso, rice cooker, so ganun. So, hindi talaga, of course, thankful tayo sa kanila. Pero meron talagang much bigger expenses na kailangan din. Kailangan ng aircon, kailangan ng ano-ano pa. Basta madaming gastos pag nag-start kayo ng family. Lalo na if may kids kayo. Okay? So, always know your priorities and always anticipate future possible expenses. So, ganun talaga para hindi kayo ma-shock. Okay? And always manage your expectations. And sa gustong makasal, so I hope nakatulong to sa inyo. Okay? So good luck sa wedding journey nyo. And I hope you will have a great time in preparing for your wedding. And have a great wedding. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope nakatulong talaga siya. And if you want to have other video suggestions, please comment down below. Kasi papalit-palit lang yung pag-create ko ng content. Okay? I might create para sa personal finance. Tapos... Again, pwede din sa work from home or online jobs. So, if you have video suggestions, specific video suggestions to these topics, please comment down below. I would appreciate it. So, thank you for watching, guys. See you in my next vlog. Bye!